Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of The Garage. Now, do you remember what this is? A good old roadmap. Exactly. Once a loyal companion for all driving enthusiasts, but also a reason for frustration, breakups, and maybe even divorces. But nowadays, we don't need these. We get along with our navigation systems that reliably guide us from our homes to our supermarkets and beyond, of course. And, uh, but you're probably asking yourself, how can modern technology help me in 5, 10, 15, or even 20 years from now? This is a big topic, and that's why we're going to dedicate two full episodes to exactly this. And for the first part, we're going to take a look up into the sky. Well, not literally, but somehow the answer to our questions lies in the cloud. And I'm excited to meet the expert in the field. He is the managing director at Continental for eHorizon. Please welcome Havat Halamek. Hello. Hey, Havat, how are you doing today? I'm feeling great, thanks. Good. So, do you remember one of these? I remember these maps, I used them in the past, but they are not sufficient for the future. Nope, not even today. If you think about it, we have navigation systems in our cars, we have our mobile phones, and we even have our watches to tell us where to go. So who needs it? You know, for navigation, this is perfect, but not for assisting you in driving. What do you mean? This is your car, a very fast car, right? Mm, uh, someday, maybe. So you accelerate, drive very fast, and then you come to the sharp curve, and you underestimated it, and then the speed limit, and you're probably too fast then. True. It's dangerous, and it's probably too late here with the uh, speed uh, limit. This is the current situation, right? But what about the future? Have you ever heard about automated driving? There's a lot of talk about it. I've heard of it. Would you be my cloud? Ah, for you, have it, I'll be anything. What is this? <laughs> I'll explain you. So this car has a camera, as most of the cars will have in the future, right? These cameras are very precise, therefore I have to put my glasses on, right? Uh -huh. So this car drives this road and looks exactly on it let's say, until here. Then it registers everything, the lane, the dashes, the stop line, the crosswalk, and of course also the traffic sign. And this information now goes to the cloud. So to me. So to you. Okay. What do I do with this? You just store it. The car continues to drive all the road around the corner and goes its way. During that, it registers every little piece of the road, like this one goes to the cloud, the next piece of road goes to the cloud, this road including the rock also goes to the cloud. Everything goes to the cloud. Okay, so what happens with all this uh, information though? Now you, Chris Cloud, have to stitch this together to one big map. I'm Chris Cloud? Yes. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so, um, how do I do this? Um, okay. Hey. Hey, that's great. That's a complete map of the whole environment. Right? I didn't know I could do this. Yeah, right. So now, this has to go back to all the cars because they need this information, right? Sure. So please do us the service to send this map to this car. Okay. Um. Wow, now all the information you have in your hand is now on the, the hood of this car. Now the car can look ahead and even around the corner. It drives and decelerates smoothly before the curve, goes around the curve and reaches the speed limit just when it's appropriate. I get it. Thanks to the information collected by the vehicle. Right. Uh-huh. So what happens with all the other cars standing around? All the other cars register as well the snippets of the road, send it to the cloud, and of course get information so everybody knows everything off the road just in time ahead. That's pretty amazing. Basically, all the collected information from all connected vehicles to the continental cloud contribute and create a detailed map of the environment, which uh, is constantly updated and is also sufficient for automated driving. Am I right? Exactly. So that makes really then, as you could see, driving more comfortably and much safer. So thank you very much, Havet, for being here. Thank you for the information. I'm going to keep the car. Is that okay? Mm, I don't think so. I will take it with me. We'll talk about that again. <laughs> but we still have to take a picture. 
Cheese. So thanks once again. Thanks, it was nice to be here. I hope you tune again for the next episode. Also, of course, about eHorizon part two coming up, so stick with us. So, Alec, we're gonna